in the spirit of Christ. It's good to be here tonight. I thank God for each and every one. Happy to be saved. So thankful for the assurance of salvation. Amen. And not fooling myself. And I look into the word of God. I am able to see my assurance. I praise God tonight for keeping us through all the storms. It is a blessing to be kept. Even though some of us be so disrespectful. I'm talking about to God. Amen. I said to the Lord when Michael came and I remember we were, we were in different parts of the house to me that was disrespectful to the Lord when we should have been, I should have been in a place in which we are told to be. But I said, on Saturday night, I said, Lord, I do not want to be that way anymore. I believe it's a sin to lay down and sleep when God is working. And sometimes Satan had he has his part in it too. Yeah. But this time, yeah. I got out of my bed yeah. and I went into one of my closets. Yeah. See, I could walk in there. Yeah. And there I sat. Yeah. Amen. 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 Sometimes when we have no fear of certain things here, then we find ourselves not having fear of God. And we think because we do not have fear, we think it, that it is of God. I'm here to tell you, it's not of God. When we are being disrespectful to God. But I'm glad that he took care of us. He did it anyway. Not because we are good. Not because we have no fear. But because he is good. And he is merciful. I thank him. Amen. I give honor tonight for all of our visitors. So glad to have each and every one. And we are here to hear from heaven. I learned some years ago that this religious world, it is by God. Amen. People are so at ease, not in Zion, but they are so at ease within themselves. It, it is sad. Everybody 
So man says, is saved and on their way to heaven. But God has said in his word, there's only a few. Out of the whole world, only a few. And whatever God has said, it is true. It does not matter what you and I say if we're not saying what God has said. I praise God. And I honor him for who he is. The time we are living in, so many things have changed. But God has said again, I change not. Amen. 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 I am the beginning and I am the end. He changed not. I'm glad about it. I, honestly, I can be so afraid of people. And you can get afraid of yourself. When you see that flesh want to go contrary to the word of God. I tell you, it's best to be afraid of yourself. God has said again, put no confidence in the flesh. Now, when we begin to think that we have it all together, and God is not in it, we are heading for something. Something and a, and a place that we do not want to go. Amen. Rejection, as the brother already brought out. I said to the people many, many years ago, do not reject. Amen. Do not reject truth. That's right. Do not reject truth. That's right. You will take yourself in a dark place. Yes. And you can be so, I would say, against the word of God. Yet you are thinking in your mind that you are okay. That's right. That is because rejecting the truth and nobody can tell you anything. I'm glad God can tell me something. Amen. He said, what I say to one, I say to all. And he has no respect of person. I'm thankful. I praise him. It would be a wonderful thing if all of us here tonight would go to heaven. That would be such a great thing. Charles, sometimes I'll be thinking about you and I, I'll be wondering, do you still feel the heat? If you do, that's a blessing. Sometimes it takes a vision of hell to get our attention. Lavonda, I love the way you tell it. Amen. I love the way you tell it. And I'm not trying to butter you up in And you know that. See, it's good to tell it like it is. She says, well, she says, when everything was going good, she said, little auntie, when she was talking about me, didn't even hear from me. Time things start going bad. 
Then I want to call little auntie. That's your blessing, darling. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. Keep allowing the Lord to bless you. I'm telling you, we are going to need it. We never in our lifetimes, even the ones that are old like I am, <laughs> we never seen so many stones. Amen. But they are all the time now. And we escape simply because of the mercy of God. Never think you are good because nothing happened to your house. Nothing happened to my house. It certainly was not because of you. I am just thankful how God take care of us. And all who want to please God, just be thankful that God took care of us. I'm glad. I know that I'm not good. Amen. But I'm glad the Lord forgave my sins and he changed me. He changed me. I did not change myself and I did not give myself the job I have. I'm telling you, I never thought just telling the truth that it would cause you to suffer so much. And most folks have no idea about that. But I'm praising him for what he has done. God has been good to us. And I often say this, wretched and undone, good for nothing. And one sister said, God, you mean to tell me you're going to save me? Some people think they just deserve to be saved. I want to tell you we deserve hell. Who are you talking about, lady? I'm talking about all of us, including me first. All of us. We deserve the lake. But I'm thankful Amen. for his mercy, Amen. his love, yes. long suffering, yes. patience, yes. all of his kindness. Yes. I'm thankful. Yes. He saved a rich like me. Yes. And I need to honor him yes. for saving me. Yes. And I honor all who are saved. Yes. People that are truly born again, they do not think too much of themselves. Right. Why? Because they know who they are. Right. I know who I am. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. But it's good to be saved. Yes. Good to have your life changed. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if you change and truly change, you did not do it. God did it. And you will not go along with evil if you are truly born again. Because those who are born again, God has said, they have my spirit within them. Therefore, they will not go along with evil. 
I'm glad about the Lord. Yes. Thank God again for everyone. Yes. May the good Lord bless us tonight. Yes. I'm hoping something has been said and you've already been blessed. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you for Psalms 91. I thank God for his great promises to Christians, the saints of God. Great promises. And we read and we went went have gone over four verses, but we will read them tonight. The first four verses. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse two I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Amen. Telling us right there. Thank you, Jesus. Trust me now. Yes. Don't trust yourself. That's right. Trust me. Yes. Uh huh. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Praise the Lord. Amen. We've done, already gone over those four verses. Tonight, we will um, go over, I, I will say, verse 5. Read. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor from the, for the arrow that flieth by day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Our subject for tonight, thank God for a secure place in him. A secure place in Jesus. This is some of God's promises to those who love him, to those who are born again, to those who will put their trust in him. To those who know that they should never trust themselves. We begin to trust ourselves. Surely we will fall. Thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. And I'm going to try to give you a preview of that verse, hoping that it will enlighten us a little more concerning verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Such frail creatures are we. Amen. 
See, because we, we do not think that we are afraid of frail. We don't see no need to depend on and trust God, do we? Amen. Amen. Such frail creatures are we that both by night and day we are in danger. And so sinful are we that in either season we may be readily carried away by fear. Amen. Now, I want to say something before we go any farther. And I might say it again. But you know, there are some folks who were born and they don't just have fear. But now just because you, you do not have fear, never think that God is destroying you. That's right. Amen. Because that's how most folks are born. Amen. The promises before us secures the favorites of heaven. I mean, it secures the favorites of heaven are those that are what? Amen. Amen. So I, I'm thankful to be a favorite of heaven. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? But the promise before us secured the favorites of heaven both from danger and the fear and the fear of it. The fear of danger. Now some folks, maybe they don't just have enough of uh, I hate to say have enough sense, but however it is, God knows. But some folks just don't fear things that they should fear. We already know something wrong with you then. Amen. So, and even saying that, you, you can see we, um, we could not fit in, in God's promises. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I looked up this word, but night is the congenial hour of horror. And that word, it, 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 um, it exists in um, associated together, more or less like in harmony, having the same disposition. And they are like um, kindred, congenial, C-O-N-G-E-N-I-A-L. But they are companion, listen, Night is the continual hour of horror. Amen. 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 When alarms walk abroad like beasts of, of prey, or gods from among the tomb, our fears, when we get that way, Amen. Our fears turn the sweet season of repose. You know, when you relax, you just repose. You just enjoying life, you might say, and you're not afraid of anything. But when night, amen, and that congenual hour of horror, when it alarms us and walk abroad like a beast of prey, I'm telling you, however 
we might be all relaxed. Amen. Now, our sweet season of repose into one, it is turned into one of dread. Amen. You know, there's a lot of folks you think have no fear, but they do. And if there is someone with no fear, I know you need to go to God. Surely you need to go to God. Amen. But I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to God for his promises. Because he knew that his people, his favorite people, he knew that we needed it. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And though angels are, are abroad and feel, angels are with us now. Because every saved person has a guardian angel. Yes. Amen. Yes. Don't you know? And though angels are abroad and fill our chambers, yes. but yet we might dream of demons. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. And their visitants from hell. But this is one blessed thing. Blessed is that communion with God. Which renders us. I'm telling you people. Someone just. I'm not going to say that. But anyway. Thank you Jesus. To, with God renders us, I mean, it, even though the midnight, those midnight frights and horrors born of darkness. But I'm telling you, God, no, he's, he has been good to us. Listen, not to be afraid is in itself. An unspeakable blessing. Since for every suffering which we endure from real injury, we are tormented by a thousand grief which arise from fear only. Thank you, Jesus. The shadow of the Almighty removes Lord, what promises? The shadow of the Almighty removes all gloom from the shadows of night. Once we are covered by his divinity. Amen. His divine wings. Once we are covered, I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank God. Amen. Amen. We are going to go to the book of Job. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 5. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord loves me. But I know he's tired of us. He has done so many great things for us. Job chapter 5. Thank you, Jesus. And verse 
19, but we'll begin reading at verse 18. Mm -hmm. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. Mm -hmm. He woundeth and his hands make whole. This is how great he is. He's great now. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, he is. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Uh-huh. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. I tell you, I, pray, I praise God now. Yes. For his promises. Yes. But I want to say again, let us not claim these promises. If we are not, well, his child, we can't claim them. And then if we are walking in disobedience, you have no assurance that you will save. Right. Even though you might say it day and night. But God never broke a promise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And he never will. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 112. Let this show you just how great God is. God is great. Yeah. I said that we must trust the Lord. Psalm 112 and verse 7. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. Uh -huh. His heart is fixed. His heart is fixed. How is it fixed? Trusting in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord. We try to secure ourselves. And the things that we should do as we live here on this earth, those things we should do. But never get to the point that you begin to trust yourself. You're getting in trouble. Real trouble. It doesn't matter who you are and who you think you are. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Amen. Amen, saints. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, a person that is free, are those who do not mind telling on this old no good flesh. Because it ain't no good. Right. Try to make it be something else. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Want some freedom? Yes. Amen. Amen. Talk to God about yourself. Yes. Amen. And when you finish talking to him, I know what he's going to tell you because he has it in his word. Amen. Are oh, you glad about Jesus? Psalm 34. Thank you, Jesus. You know, people say, well, if I trust God, then nothing will happen to me. That's not what God says. Right. He never said that. That's right. Verse, Psalm 34 and verse 19. 
Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Of whom? The righteous. I said that. Some folk think. Well, if you so say, why, why are you going through this and why are you going through that? You, you, you done made a step too far. Yes, right. If you want to know an answer, if you're real, if you're real not. But if you're trying to be sarcastic, if you're real, ask God about it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Many. It did not say a few. It says many are the affliction of the righteous. See how ignorant we can be? Well, if you so say, why this and why that? Many. And he told you who he's talking about. Many are the affliction of the righteous. But what? But the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Amen. 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 Had many, many afflictions. As I said on last Tuesday night, I thought I wasn't going to be able to make it. That was me thinking. That was flesh. Some folks, when, when you are going through turmoil, guess what? Most folks in their bed sleeping. Right. Amen. Amen. Nothing with them. I remember, I remember years ago. And we was, at, uh, we was having Bible study in, in this lady's home. I remember this night so well. And I believe the Spirit of God, I know I heard this, it said, look up. And it said, look at the people. Then it said, it's nothing with them. It said, nothing is with them. That should have told me then that I was going to have a hard time. Amen. But the scripture is telling us here, many are the affliction of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him out of them all. Isn't that a blessing? He never said you would not have affliction. Never said trouble would not come your way. Never said that. But it said the Lord will deliver you out of them all. What a blessing for us. What a blessing. What a blessing. Isaiah 43. Verse 2. When thou passest through the waters. When thou passest through the waters. Sometime in, in, in scripture, it, when it talks and speaks concerning waters, sometimes it means trouble. Yes, Lord. Sometimes that's what it means. Yes, Lord. I did not say all the time, but sometimes. Amen. Amen. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. I will be with thee. See, that's good to know. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. When you're going through your troubles, the Lord said, I'll be with thee. See, again, I say he never told us that we would not have trouble. 
But he said, I will not leave thee, nor will I forsake thee. Amen. Not if you are mine. Do you praise him? Mm -hmm. and, through, mm -hmm. and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. I tell you, they shall not overflow thee. You will not sink. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God will be with you. Yes. I told a sister that. Thank you, Jesus. I want God. Yes. I want God. Yes. To keep her. Yes. Keep her living. Yes. Because of her obeying God yes. and working for Him. Yes. I said, I want God to keep you. Yes. And then I say, But I want you to be right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, go through Mi much water yes. and sometimes dark water. Yes. We might say muddy waters. Yes. That means more trouble. Yes. Amen? Amen. But see, read that verse. Read that verse in Psalms 91, that verse 5. Read it quickly. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. See? Yeah. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Praise the Lord. God said, I will be with you. Because it is his promise. Amen. And he will not. Break his promise. Amen. But it, for, it is for us to obey. Amen. If you are born again. Amen. Read on. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Oh, hallelujah. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. And folks say, well, I just don't believe that. I tell you, jump in the fire, and you're not trusting God, and you're not a believer, you better stay out. It'll, yes, that fire will burn you up. Yes, it will burn you up. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Neither shall the flame scorch Thee. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I said, God, good to us. Yeah. Oh, yes, He is. Yeah. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Amen. Yeah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Now, just in case someone said, Well, I just don't believe that. Let us go to the book of Daniel. Yeah. Chapter 3. Oh, I said, Lord, I thank you. I thank God, saints. I praise him. And I honor him for who he is. God is good to us. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't God wonderful? <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Daniel chapter 3. And verse, well, we're going to begin reading at verse 24. Jesus. Verse 24. 
Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Mm -hmm. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. True. You telling the truth, king? Yeah. We only cast three. And we cast them in there bound. Amen. Did we not? He said, cast three men in. He said, true, O king. Verse 25. He answered and said, lo, I see four men loose. Yes. <laughs> walking in the midst of the fire. Yes. And they have no hurt. And they have no hurt. Mm-hmm. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't God good? Thank you, Jesus. I said when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. I'm telling you. The devil, he desires when he do things to you, He desire that you be burned, not just burned, not just scotch. He wants you burned up. He will put things before you. It calls you to think and believe that God is not with you. Those who are walking by faith, those who know they must trust God, the devil will hurl all type of stumbling blocks before you. So that you will not be able or you think you will not be able to do God's will. But if you are a child of God and you are trusting him, the promises are yours. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 I truly thank God. I thank the Lord for who he is. Thank you, Jesus. Now, to know that it is real. Thank you, Jesus. Read verse 24, 26. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning, fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God. Now he knows. Now he know. Yes. yes. Amen. Thank you. Amen. That these are servants oh, yes. of the Most High oh, God. Yes. Oh, People God. who serve the Lord, most folk will never know who they are. Because they are not high up on no type of how on the shoulder. They are not people like that. Yes, Jesus was not like that. Yes, and we must walk in his footsteps. Yes, he was not that way. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Ye servants of the most high God. What did he say? Come forth and come hither. Lord, thank you, Jesus. I need you to come forth. He said, I need you to come to me. Yes. Amen. I believe he wanted to make sure these were real men. Yes. Amen. Yes. And read on. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. Of the midst. They came forth of the midst of the fire. Yes. yes. Amen. 
Read verse 27. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men. Saw these men. They all saw them. Yeah. I ain't they saw these men. Mm -hmm. Upon whose bodies the fire had no power. So, and so you walk through the fire and not be burned. That's right. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Read on. Nor was a hair of their head singed. Not, I'm telling you, and your hair get close to some heat. It right. would, I'm telling you, go to burn up. You sure do. Oh, Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. But it said, no, uh, hair of their head, mm -hmm. nor was a hair of their head singed. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Neither were their coats changed. Neither nope. were their coats changed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The garment they had on. Thank not you. changed. Jesus. Should we not trust God? We should trust God. Never trust yourself. Sometimes we trust, we put too much trust in ourselves to the point that we don't we, we do not even want to be questioned. We don't want to be questioned. And I'm not talking about questioning some stuff you thought of. Right. I'm talking about you don't even want to be questioned about yourself so that stuff you have in you can come out. A lot of folks don't want to be questioned. And we are going to see. That's one thing I am sure. We are going to see what was good for us. Amen. But with some folks, it definitely will be too late. Because they don't want nothing be said, to be said to them that will bother them. You should know then that something is wrong with me. Free people. Amen. Want to get stuff out of them. We need to say, free me, Lord. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Read on, not the courts change. Mm -hmm. Nor the smell of fire had passed on them. They didn't even smell yes. like fire. And I know for sure you just stand in the smoke right. of a fire. Right. You will come out smelling yes. just like that smoke. Yes. But their coats, they didn't even have the scent. Yes. They was in the fire, yes. real fire. Yes. They came out, yes. but not even uh, their hair syringe, yes. and didn't even have a, the scent yes. on their body yes. of smoke. Yes. And they was in the fire. Yes. And God good too. Yes, yes, yes. The devil come. He comes to kill and to destroy. And some folks have no idea that this is what they are doing. Yes. Trying to destroy. And they don't know they're fighting against God. Yes. Trying to destroy you, but they they want you to be destroyed. So now. The church is being torn down. That's right. That's right. That's right. They have no idea what they're doing. Right. But God said, I know. Amen. I know Amen. what they're doing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. They want to, I mean, throw you in the fire and hope you get burned up. Right. Right. Thank you, Jesus. How great thou art. Yes. Yes. How baker? Chapter 3.
want to begin reading at verse 16. When I heard, my belly trembled. And isn't that, isn't that what happened to you when you didn't really get the age? When I heard, my, my belly trembled. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My lips quivered at the voice. Uh -huh. Rottenness entered into my bones. Yes. And I trembled in myself. Sometimes, Steve, when you hear bad news. That's right. That's right. Something happened to you. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Rottenness entered into my bones, mm -hmm. and I tremor in myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I might rest in the day of trouble. That I might rest in the day of trouble. Amen. Amen. In God good to Yes. Us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with, with his troops. Amen. Verse 17. Although the fig tree shall not blossom. Listen now. See, this, this is going on. This is allowing us to know things <coughs> will happen to the righteous. But God still take care of them. Yes. Amen. Read. Neither. Although, although the fig tree shall not blossom. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if it does not bloom, you know. You know you're not going to get no fruit. That's right. right? Mm -hmm. Neither shall fruit be in the vines. Mm -hmm. The labor of the olive shall fail. Uh -huh. And the field shall yield no meat. Uh -huh. The flock shall be cut off from the fold. Mm -hmm. And there shall be no hurt in the stalls. Have nothing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Have nothing. But look what it says here. Verse 18. Yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will rejoice in the Lord. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Yet I, 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 I see I have no meat. Yes. Yes. I have no fruit. Yes. Amen. The flock shall be cut off from the fold. Yes. And there shall be no herd in the stall. Yes. yes. Everything is gone. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Yet, mm -hmm. I will rejoice in the Lord. Yes. See, we don't want that part. That's, That's right. right. We want to hear all of his good promises. That's right. Yet, he still takes care of us here. That's, right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Ain't God good? Yes, he is. Why? The lo Verse 19. Mm -hmm. The Lord God is my strength. He, why? Because he's my strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he will make my feet like hind feet. And he feet. will make my feet like hind feet. And I'm telling you, if mm -hmm. you do that, I'm telling you, you can leap over a wall. Yeah. Thank you. Meaning, you can leap over your troubles. Yes, yes. Do you praise it? Amen. I know a dear. I'm telling you, he, he can leap. Yes. I've seen them do it. Yes. We driving, another car was driving in front of us. Yes. Deer was running across the, the highway. Yes. He leaped over that car in front of us and kept running. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God will do that for you. Yes. Even though you have troubles, yes. you will wonder, yes. how am I making it? Yes. Right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I praise him. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind feet. Just like a deer. Yeah. And he will what? And he will make me to walk upon mine high places. I'm telling you. Make me to walk upon my high places. Yes, Lord. I tell you, what <laughs> place you didn't think you could. Yes. God is good. God is good. Nor the arrow that flies by day. This is the last part of verse 5. Cunning foes 
People's are cunning. And they lie in ambush. And they aim the deadly shot at our hearts. <laughs> oh, do I know that? But there's not an error made, amen, which can destroy the righteous. There's not an error made, the error that flies by day. There's not an error made that can destroy the righteous. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you people, in that error, I'm, oh God, that be shut at you, and I mean it come with full force. It might do something to you, but it cannot destroy you. But what will it be for you then? I'm telling you, oh God, thank you, Jesus. It will be a trophy. You will be able to learn how to be more like Jesus. The devil be doing his damage and he gather most of the folks or just about everybody with him. And they walk in the scripture said they walk in their heels click together. And I mean and they talk and they say things and they do things. Thank you Jesus done shot that arrow. Glory be to God. And I mean it, and you don't even know. What's, you have no idea what's going on. And people's are, I mean, they are, <laughs> glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. They are getting together to shoot that arrow and hoping it will destroy you. But God has said, that is not an error made that can destroy the righteous. Do you praise God? Do you praise him? I'm so glad. And you know what he has said? I'm talking about what the Lord has said now. That no weapon, no weapon formed against you shall stand, but we're going to read it. Amen. Isaiah 54. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 54, and we'll begin reading at verse 14. 14. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt be far from oppression. Thou shalt be far from oppression. Mm -hmm. For thou shalt not fear, mm -hmm. and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, the enemy be doing things. I mean, so many things I've read and I've learned. And you know that this has happened to you. Yet, you wasn't even thought about when these, when these words were written but they actually happen to you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you people, it is good to love the Lord with all your heart. Love him with all your heart. So mine. I thank you, Jesus. Read on. Verse 15. Behold, they shall surely gather together. Uh-huh, listen. And this is the truth. 
they shall surely gather together. Mm -hmm. But not by me. But not by me. Mm -hmm. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And see, and when they keep strutting, they think they've gotten away. But no one will get away unless that person has truly repented. And I know most folks have not even thought about repenting because they're still strutting. Still telling lies. But when they gather together, all of their kind, they gather together. But he said, but not of me. But not by me. Mm -hmm. Read on. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Read on. Verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. See, that, that, that's this is why people need to believe. I tell you, people do not, they do not believe God. And by not believing God, they have no inkling of who God sent. They have no inkling. No. Thank you, Jesus. But look what he, look who he is. Start reading verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Now, I created him. Yes. Don't look at him that, because he, he can make horseshoes or whatever. Right. 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 I created him. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Uh-huh, he brings forth the instrument for his work. But I'm the author of it. Right. I, God said I'm the author of it all. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh-huh. And I have created the waster to destroy. Uh-huh. Amen. Verse 17. Mm-hmm. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. But see, man, when he, when God do not strike him down, see, they think that they have gotten away. No one. It doesn't matter if you, you get riches. I, I mean, this, if, if this building was filled with all the money that it could hold, you haven't gotten away. No one has gotten away. But see, they are out to destroy the servants of God. Read on. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Uh-huh. This is the heritage. Now listen what he says. This is the heritage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the servants of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And their righteousness is of me. And their righteousness yes, is of me. Yes, if we do not have Jesus and we are not obeying him, him we have no righteousness. Yes, that their righteousness is of me. Who said that? Praise the Lord. Ain't God wonderful? Thank you, Jesus. It is good that in time of danger that we make God our refuge. Let us make God our hiding place. Let us seek to do what is right. Let us seek the righteousness of God. Let us never trust ourselves standing in much danger when we do. In time of great danger, those who have made the Lord their refuge and therefore have refused to use the carnal weapon. I tell people all the time, I'm not trying to treat folks like they have treated me. 
If I did that, I'd be just like them. That's right. I said, I am not trying to treat people like they are treated me. Mm -mm. That's not God's way. Mm -mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But these people, the peoples of God, have refused to use that carnal weapon. I'm telling you, they have a place, I mean, just for them, and it is preserved. Those who walk by faith, they are protected. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And so you don't have to worry about the arrow that flies by day. Amen. The true remedy against tormenting fears is faith in God. That's the true remedy. Do your praise. Hallelujah. Tell you, I could, if I could jump, yes. I, I could jump now, yes. and while I'm up in the air, clap, clap my heels together yes. and say, Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You shall not be afraid. Yes. Amen. For the terrors by night, nor for the arrows that fly. By day. God is good to us. Jesus is our helper. Thank you, Jesus. And when people gather together against you, God has already said, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Amen. No weapon. All the arrows, when they shoot the arrow at you, meaning when they gather together to destroy you, God has said, I will protect you. And those arrows, thank you, Jesus, will become, thank you, Jesus, I tell you, a trophy for you. In God, wonderful. And tell me that God will not protect this own. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. As they destroy you, maybe really hurt you. Yes. But God, hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. He knows exactly yes. what he's doing. Yes. Yes. Shooting the arrows by day and by night yes. to destroy. Yes. But if you don't take that carnal weapon and fight back. Hallelujah. Then those arrows that be shot at you, they were going to become your trophy. Do you praise him? Do you praise God? Thankful for what God has done. Glory, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank thee. I thank you, Lord, for being good to us. God so loved the world. Yes, he did. He gave heaven best that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but will have life everlasting. Let us make sure we have the protection and the security of Almighty God. Let us make sure. May God be with you. In Jesus' name, Brother Dredd.